today's video we will be looking at navic so navic is navigation in indian constellation so the isro that is the indian space research organization and its commercial arm that is antrix corporation limited are set to commercialize india's regional navigation satellite system that is a uh, navic navigation in indian constellation so this is a pattern in which uh, the navic works there are uh four satellites in geosynchronous orbit and three satellites as you can see in geo stationary orbit so navic is a system that is actually coming in alternative to that of gps so we will be comparing that also so what is actually navic so navic is it is an indian regional navigation satellite system or irns it was developed by india by isro and it's uh, isro or isro whatever way you, you can call it and it's commercial wing antrix it consists of eight satellites located at a distance of approximately 36000 km so currently there are seven satellites which are active three satellites are in geostationary orb orbits and five satellites are in inclined geosynchronous orbit so fourth point is the objective of navic is to provide navigation timing and reliable positioning services in and around india so working of navic is very similar to that of global positioning system or gps so that which is implemented by united states so navic is uh, certified by 3gpp that is third generation partnership project which is responsible for coordinating mobile telephony standards globally so when we look into detail it actually provides uh, navigation service for vital civilian and military applications without having to depend on another country so currently we are depending on uh, us for gps and all so navic will enable us to slow down that dependency so uh, there are seven satellites three in geostationary currently uh, and four in geosynchronous so the total cost is 1420 crores so it covers an area uh, india up to uh, 1500 km beyond its border so three extremely ex uh, accurate atomic clocks are there in each satellites and gps receivers will not work and need special receivers that is yet to be developed okay so uh, these are the parts and there's a star sensor propellant tank and solar panel so going back the, what is irns so indian regional navigation uh, navigation satellite system so it is an independent regional navigation satellite system developed by india so its objective is it is being designed to give precise position data service to users located in india and also to users in the area out spreading 1500 km from india's boundary so two kinds of services provided by ir and ws will be standard positioning service sps and restricted service so the system can offer a position accuracy of more than 20 meter within india which is the primary area of service so it is basically just for india and also it can provide up to 1500 km away from our borders also the irns is being constructed by the isro and is wholly under the indian government's control the need for such a system of navigation is that the availability of global satellite navigation systems like gps is not assured in hostile conditions suddenly if uh, we become uh, enemies of us and all gps can be used against us so this kind of system is applicable available in several other countries also when we looking into it in us we have gps so it has 31 satellites coverage is global level uh, and lifetime of each satellite is 10 years precision is 5 meters and it was inducted in 1978 and when we come to golnas that is uh, from russia it has 24 satellites and it's also coverage is uh, global level first satellite was launched in october 19 82 so it has a lifetime of each satellite is 10 years and its precision is 5 meters to 10 meters then we come to galileo which is uh, by 
european union swiss agency and uh, region is european union it has 40 satellites and first launch is 2011 coverage area of coverage is uh it's global lifetime of each satellite is area of coverage is global and its precision is 1 meter for public and 1 cm for military uses it is basically developed by european union and its uh, coverage this area of coverage is global level then baidu it's by the country of china has two separate satellite constellations limited test system and full scale global navigation system a uh, number of satellites is 35 there are 20 now in orbit and first launch was on october 2000 area of coverage is at a global level lifetime of each satellite is 12 years precision is 10 meter for public and 10 cm for military now when we come to india india is irns country of uh, origin is our country only number of satellites is 7 5 in orbit area of coverage is radius uh, is india with an external uh, radius of about 1500 km then uh, first satellite was launched in 2013 lifetime of each satellite is 12 years precision is 20 meter for civilian and 10 meter for military so with that i hope today's session was productive for you guys until we meet again god bless you all jai hind